Hello. Hi. What have we got here? A truly glass piece. It's an amazing cereal bowl right here. <laughs> Dale Chihuly, super famous artist. He's from Seattle, Tacoma area, I know that. Art glass, it's just a genre that hardly anyone else did, and then he turned it into a, like a massive art form, and then he made some amazing art, and he's still with us today. So where did you get this? My dad actually rebuilt the bathroom in the Chihuly Boathouse. In exchange for his work, he was gifted this piece, and now it's mine. It makes sense. I mean, like, uh, my understanding was he did gift a lot of things away. When you're an artist, it's like printing money. I mean, there's bars all over the place in France and Paris uh, where there's, like, napkins drawn up by Picasso. Yeah. <laughs> How much you want for it? I really can't take less than 10000 OK. We might be close. But once you become this famous, so many people out there just start baking your stuff. But you're in luck. My buddy Billy is out in the parking lot. He actually worked with Chihuly. He's a glass artist. He knows everything about this. Need help ASAP. As soon as Billy gets here, he'll look at it, and then we'll go from there. Awesome. Billy! Hey, Rick, how are ya? This young lady brought in a Chihuly vase. Vaz? Vase, Vaz, yeah, artwork. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I actually met Dale uh, in the summer of 99 as his boat captain. OK. 15, 16 years later, I now have my own studio, not too far from Chihuly, and we make our own glass, and we have our own series. So uh, yeah, that's, that's how I met him. I truly was working with the Picasso of our lifetime. That what he has done in glass is really beyond words. OK, um, so is this Chihuly? Can I take a look at that? Sure. All right. Be gentle. I will. Um, yeah, beautiful piece. This exterior is a series that he did called Machia. Machia is Italian for spotted. And to get this color combination is very, very difficult. But let me find the signature, and that will help, too, because 1998. Yep, truly. Yeah, beautiful piece. Gorgeous. So the date is right around when he was making the style? Yeah. OK. And the signature is key, and it's actually perfect. So what do these go for? Today, uh, I would say that this is, a, this is a safely an $18,000 piece. That's what it would retail for in a gallery. Yeah. OK. Right. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you, too. All right. So it retails for like $18,000 at a gallery. My best, best, best price in the world is going to be eight grand. I really can't take less than 10 today. <sighs> I, there's no way I can do 10. I mean, like, literally, I'm pushing it at $8,000. Well, I can't do less than 10. I'm not taking less than 10. So. OK. Well, thanks for bringing it in. Incredible piece, though. Really, really incredible. If you change your mind, you know where I'm at. OK, thank you. All right. Earlier today, my buddy Billy helped me out when I had a seller with a Dale Chihuly glass vase. I wasn't able to make a deal, but Billy invited me to his glass studio because he has a friend with a Dale Chihuly collection of their own for sale. Billy! Hey, Rick. Welcome to Glass Eye Studio. I'm impressed. <laughs> yeah, we make everything right here in our studio. OK. Um, the Chihuly didn't work out. Well, that's OK. I mean, uh, I think you got something that you're going to really like upstairs. So why don't you come with me, and I'll show you some okay. amazing pieces. How do we get there? This way. This is impressive. This is all Chihuly? This is all Chihuly, yeah. Rick, this is my good friend, Justin. How you doing, Rick? Doing well. Billy. Hey, Justin. All right. Yeah. So this is your Chihuly collection? Yes. All Come right. this way and take a look. This is super cool. It's a really eclectic bunch of everything you have. Well, my family's been collecting for about 20 years. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Ekibana series. That's a classic example of Dale, where he's traveling around the world. When he was in Japan, the Ekibana flower form is something that is obviously you know, connected to Japan. This is his interpretation of that in glass. Um, yeah, it looks extremely fragile. Yeah, yeah, it is. OK, this one right here. Oh, blanket cylinder. You know, uh, Dale being from the Pacific Northwest, the American Indian culture has had a huge effect on him. And if you notice that gorgeous textile on the front, that threading, very unusual. He works with two other artists named Flora Mace and Jerry Kirkpatrick. This is a really beautiful collaborative piece that he does. And this is like Venetian glass right here, right? Exactly. I mean, the Venetian series is iconic to, obviously, Venice. And this is Dale's interpretation of that in his form. Didn't Dale actually go to Venice and like learn some of their techniques there? Yeah, he was one of the few Americans to actually get into Murano, learn the technique. So how much do you want for all of it? 
300,000 for the entire collection. Um, quite frankly, it's more than I want to spend. How much for the Venetian? I mean, it looks very Vegas. 65,000. I'll give you 30 grand. How about just a little bit higher? How do we say 35? Then I'll ship it to Vegas for you. And insure it? All right, we have a deal. I own a Dale Chihuly. Congratulations. All right, now that I've seen your workshop and everything, I really want to try to blow glass. That sounds great. You want to go down and do it now? I actually have to get back to the events. Are you going to be here later? Yeah, I will. Just give me okay. a call. OK, no, I'll definitely come back. It looks really, really cool. Maybe I could make something like that? We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll call you in a little bit. All right, bye-bye. Where are we? It's a surprise. Guys, here's a surprise. In Seattle, we're going to be glass blowers. OK. I'll watch you guys do it. Are you scared? Well, are you scared? It just looks hot, and I don't want to burn myself. I'm sure as part of the glass blower's Rick, art, you eventually Rick, burned yourself. Not everyone was born to be an artist. You got a point. All right. And what do I do now? Because this is pretty fun. Uh, I mean, it seems like something you'd be pretty good at. It's just. Uh... I mean, it just takes patience. Hey, Rick, how you doing? It looks like you're making a duck. <laughs> it's an abstract base, right, Rick? This is what I got. I think this is how it's done, baby. Look at that. All right, all right, all right. It looks hot still. I'm actually excited to eat cereal out of mine. <laughs>